The time that you eat food doesn't matter according to common belief. At midnight you might eat a slice of cake as a snack or eat it just after dinner. A calorie is still a calorie, the net impact of it on your body is identical. That's the usual thinking format, however, according to Jim Stevens, it's completely incorrect. The next sections represent the argument of Stevens's book that the time you eat can truly have a great impact on your waistline and your well-being. Searching into numerous of various fasting regimes, besides the science underlying weight loss and health, that review searches the advantages of fasting and also the day-to-day -day fasting advice you'll benefit on the journey. Chapter 1, If It Comes to Losing Fat, Fasting Beats Dieting People usually believe that fasting just makes you lose weight since it makes you eat less. For half of the day, if you don't eat, the reasoning goes, you should be consumed fewer calories. As time passes, that under-eating continues, and, finally, the number on the weighing gets smaller. Seems very simple, isn't it? Well, it may however, that way of thinking neglects everything that does fasting unique. Fasting's method of working is not only making you eat less. It works since it stimulates some of the really important procedures in the body. One of the reasons that fasting helps you to lose weight is that it causes the amount of insulin flowing in your bloodstream drop. Insulin is a significant hormone, it works together with glucagon to balance your blood sugar levels the times you eat. However, it stops your body against a break of your reserves of fat too. Every time you eat something during the day, you raise your insulin levels and your body stops using your fat stores. On the other side, if you fast you will be dropping your insulin levels taking your body into fat burning mode. Yet this is not the single cause fasting is a good weight loss method. The time that you try to lose weight through a common diet, your body's instinctive answer is to resist. Why? Well, according to your body, you have met some sort of danger about your food supply. How does your body react to this? Easy. It raises the level of ghrelin, which is a hormone that triggers hunger and decreases the level of leptin, which controls the feeling of saturation. To paraphrase, it does everything to make you feel starved. But it's not done yet. To preserve energy, metabolic rate, and the number of calories that make you keep going is reduced by your body. So even though you try to eat less, your body adjusts and begins to demand less, ruining all of your efforts. However, fasting is not like that. Since you use your stored fat when you fast, your body doesn't react like it's suffering from hunger when your food consumption decreases. Rather than, you burn the fat you've stored in your body, and stayed away from the disadvantages that common diets cause. Chapter 2 the advantages of fasting are so much more than just weight loss. So fasting may make you lose weight. For lots of people, that's cause adequate to go for it. However, for the rest, who are more bonded to their diet customs, fasting may look like a radical change for only losing a few pounds. It's a good detail. So what can you offer to those people? In addition to losing weight, are there any benefits for trying intermittent fasting? The response is a loud yes. Each year, a new study appears that showing the benefits of fasting for health is even more inclusive than the earlier estimate. Just like you discovered in the latest chapter, fasting may assist you to lower the level of insulin flowing in your blood. This is an advantage for losing weight yet the advantages don't end up there. Too much insulin is related to the risk of type 2 diabetes, so if you lower your insulin level via fasting, you lessen the probability that you'll get that kind of serious medical situation. But that's not the last. Fasting helps stop chronic inflammation that can influence your overall well-being, causing life-threatening diseases like heart attack and cancer. Actually, research that been made in 2008 discovered that people who fast for their religion such as Muslims that fasting during Ramadan, had drastically lower risks of developing coronary artery disease. Like those benefits weren't adequate, fasting encourages autophagy in the body too. It's an unusual phrase, but the process it implies is critical to your health. In sum, it means the ability to break down and reusing undesired and flawed parts of your cells. Consider it as upcycling for your body. By raising autophagy, fasting assists you to refrain circumstances such as cancer, liver disease, and even the outcomes of getting old that occur the time autophagy decreases. Yes, that is correct. Fasting may assist you to stay young and longer your life. In 2018, the review of an already existing study showed us living younger and longer is actually possible with fasting. For the people that are suspicious about fasting's losing weight potential, the possibility of a longer and healthier life is, usually, too attractive to resist. Chapter 3, 
there are several various methods for beginning fasting. So, assume that you changed your mind. The idea of weight loss, longer and healthier life seemed nice. You started to fasting. So what's next? Well, intermittent fasting is an inclusive phrase, and it's adjusted to numerous eating habits. If you're determined about combining fasting into your life, you should check all the various methods and choose the one that suits you and your purposes, best. Terms may seem a little complicated at first to be honest. However, learning the various kinds of fasting is significant if you're decided to make your lifestyle better. One of the most common kinds of intermittent fasting is based on a needing window. The meaning of it is that you eat just for a fixed number of hours in a day, outside of your window, taking calories as stringently off limits. People usually use those windows with ratios, the first number usually declares fasting time. So 16 to 8 means 16 hours of fasting and 8 hours for eating, whereas 19 to 5 means 19 hours of fasting and then 5 hours of eating window. On the other hand, OMAD is a shortening for one meal a day. If that regime seemed excessive, remember that this one meal is usually eaten more than 3 or 4 hours. You don't have to take your daily calorie need in an hour or less. Shorter eating windows such as OMAD and 19 to 5 truly have more advantages than longer ones, actually. The study determines that the speed of losing fat rises importantly after 18 to 24 hours of fasting. With that, eating windows isn't a single method for fasting. There's the up and down day method too. Up days are the days you can eat, and down days are the ones you can't. People benefit from ratios to refer to those eating models. Firstly up days come so, the meaning of 5 to 2 is that 5 days for eating and 2 days for fasting. Some of the people don't eat at all on their down days. Other ones believe that having one small meal that is up to 500 calories so much easier. If you try for the up and down day method, it's important to remember that you should the amount you need on your free days. Actually, the difference between up and down days may help to hold your body back from adapting to undereating, meaning of it is that you're going to keep losing weight in the long run. Chapter 4, If You Want to Be Clean Quickly, you should avoid from few things. The phrase of fasting looks pretty basic, isn't it? For a set amount of time, the only thing you should do is avoiding eating anything. Is possible that the idea gets any simpler? Well, yes, and there are some qualifications and also requirements that should be discussed. For instance, consider drinks. Lots of beginner fasters are curious about what precisely they're allowed to drink. Is coffee allowed? Tea? And diet soda? If you're questioning the issue similar to those, you're on the right way. Above all, it would be pointless to drink the forbidden drink a few moments later and ruin all your hard work about not giving yourself a meal. People who are fasting usually accept a fast that obeying all the rules is a clean fast. Actually, it may be good to have a phrase like that, since it supports us to determine precisely what we should be set as a goal. However, on the other hand, it may cause a little misunderstanding. How? Well, if your fasting is not clean, it's not actually fasting. Clean fasting's meaning is not that you can just drink water during your fasting period, but it restricts your options. So what do you should be careful about? If you're fasting, you should avoid all of the sweetened and food-like flavors, even if they don't have calories. That is likely to confuse people. Something cannot break your fasting if it has zero calories, right? Incorrect, really. To tell the truth, your body has an insulin response to particular tastes even if they are calorie-free. Research in 2008 proved that just swishing a sweetened liquid in your mouth can dramatically level up your insulin levels. So what actually does that knowledge exclude? As a start, all the diet sodas also gums, flavored waters, fruit-flavored teas, and everything that with a sugary or food-like taste. Plain water, sparkling water, black coffee, and plain tea are the only things you can drink while continuing fasting. So stay hydrated while fasting. Simply don't harm all your hard work by triggering your insulin response. Chapter 5 To get the best outcomes, change your fasting method occasionally. After you find a fasting method that you can do, it can be attractive to get into a new routine. Above all, fasting isn't continually simple. You've got to adjust your meal times with work meetings, family gatherings, your daily routine, and so on. After finally finding yourself a good schedule, you can consider it too simple to adapt it to your life forever, but only if you can, stand out against that urge. Intermittent fasting gives the best results if it involves variation. To handle plateaus and continuing to losing weight, it's best to throw in a curveball now and then. That isn't only an idea. 
Changing your fasting model may assist to drag you out of the homeostasis which is something that your body has a tendency. Homeostasis means your body's innate tendency to sustain stability and balance. If you get too hot, you sweat for cooling yourself down. If you get too cold, you begin to shiver for producing heat. Sadly, homeostasis can be a problem while you're trying to lose weight. Even though intermittent fasting assists you to be protected against the metabolic dangers that come with traditional diets, your body still has the annoying habit of attempting to adapt to new conditions. Fasting assists to lessen that problem, but it cannot solve it completely. That's where differentiation jumps in. By combining your fasting models, you block your body from adapting to any one pattern. There are three principal methods to do that. Firstly, try changing your method entirely. For instance, if you've tried for a month or two the 16 to 8 fasting protocol, try changing to an up and down day method. Secondly, try switching the duration of your eating window. Why not try 19 to 5 sometimes, and one meal a day the remaining? The important thing here is keeping your body on its toes, as the phrase goes. In the final, try using a hybrid approach. To paraphrase, for some days do fasting, don't restrict your consumption on other days, and, occasionally, use eating windows. However, you should be careful during the extended fastings, they can slow down the metabolism, which is exactly the converse of the desired outcome. Having more than one down day one after the other puts you into that opposed area. Chapter 6, Fasting May Make You Start to Healthy Eating Intermittent fasting is an effective method. It's adjustable, relatively easy, and supports you in weight loss and longer life. In some, it seems like a miracle but it's not. Even though fasting helps you to lose weight and cure your health, it can't resist against the rules of nature. If you eat too much during your eating window, you'll gain weight, it doesn't matter if you're following 16 to 8 or OMED at that time. So what's the reading here? It is that fasting shouldn't be the single difference you made for your lifestyle. The things you eat, and the amount of it, are significant topics for people who do fasting too. Lots of people count calories for weight loss, yet there are some issues with that approach. One of them is that all calories aren't the same. For instance, your body can take the calories in cooked food more efficiently than the ones in raw food. The meaning of it is that you truly take more calories from baked salmon than from the equal amount of raw sashimi. A different issue is that counting calories teach you to trust external signals about the time of stopping eating, instead of doing what your body itself is directing you. Now, you may oppose that trusting your hunger is exactly the thing that makes you gain weight in the first place, and it is possible that you are right. However, intermittent fasting may help you to line up your hunger to a healthy level by retraining your body. A study in 2019, showed that only 6 days of 18 to 6 fasting decreased participants' levels of ghrelin, the hunger hormone, and raised their rates of leptin, the hormone that makes you feel fulfilled. But it is not over. Additionally, lots of people realize that fasting truly changes their habits of eating. So instead of craving after unhealthy, ultra-processed foods, if you do intermittent fasting you can find yourself craving the type of nourishing foods that your body actually needs. The meaning of it is that you'll be getting healthier the times you're fasting and also you're eating. Fast. Feast. Repeat, the comprehensive guide to delay, don't deny intermittent fasting including the 28-day fast start by Jin Stevens book review. The time you eat your meals can have serious impacts on your body, helping you in weight loss, better your overall health, and maybe even have a longer life. To make the most of fasting, change your eating methods occasionally and be sure that you're giving your body healthy and satisfying foods. If you starve while fasting, set a timer, and wait. Intermittent fasting assists you to fix your body's hunger hormones and to read what your body is trying to tell you. So what do you do the time halfway of fasting and your stomach is crying for food? You should not neglect your body's messages entirely, so next time, try setting an alarm for 30 minutes later. Don't eat until the time comes, at that point you'll be capable of telling whether you're really hungry or you just had some temporary hunger pangs.